The Three North Shelter Forest Program simplified Chinese, Sanbei Fanghu Lin traditional Chinese, Sanbei Fanghu Lin Pinyin, Sanbei Fanghulin, also known as the Three North Shelterbelt Program or the Green Great Wall, is a series of human-planted windbreaking forest strips shelter belts in China, designed to hold back the expansion of the Gobi Desert. The program started in 1978, and is planned to be completed around 2050, at which point it will be 4,500 kilometres long. The project's name indicates that it is to be carried out in all three of the northern regions, the north, the northeast and the northwest. This project has historical precedences dating back to before the Common Era. However, in pre-modern periods, government-sponsored afforestation projects along the historical frontier regions were mostly for military fortification. <laughs> <laughs> Effects of the Gobi Desert China has seen 3600 square kilometers, 1400 square miles of grassland overtaken every year by the Gobi Desert. Each year, dust storms blow off as much as 2000 square kilometers, 800 square miles of topsoil, and the storms are increasing in severity each year. These storms also have serious agricultural effects for other nearby countries such as Japan, North Korea, and South Korea. The Green Wall project was begun in 1978, with the proposed end result of raising northern China's forest cover from 5 to 15 percent, thereby reducing desertification. <laughs> <laughs> Methodology and progress The fourth and most recent phase of the project, started in 2003, has two parts, the use of aerial seeding to cover wide swathes of land where the soil is less arid, and the offering of cash incentives to farmers to plant trees and shrubs in areas that are more arid. A $1.2 billion oversight system including mapping and surveillance databases is also to be implemented. The wall will have a belt with sand-tolerant vegetation arranged in checkerboard patterns to stabilize the sand dunes. A gravel platform will be next to the vegetation to hold down sand and encourage a soil crust to form. The trees should also serve as a windbreak from dust storms. <laughs> <laughs> Measuring success As of 2009, China's planted forest covered more than 500,000 square kilometers, increasing tree cover from 12% to 18%, the largest artificial forest in the world. Of the 53,000 hectares planted that year, a quarter died. In 2008, winter storms destroyed 10% of the new forest stock, causing the World Bank to advise China to focus more on quality rather than quantity in its stock species. Topic. Problems If the trees succeed in taking root, they could soak up large amounts of groundwater, which would be extremely problematic for arid regions like northern China. For example, in Minkin, an area in northwestern China, studies showed that groundwater levels have dropped by 12 to 19 meters since the advent of the project. Land erosion and overfarming have halted planting in many areas of the project. China's increasing levels of pollution has also weakened the soil, causing it to be unusable in many areas. Furthermore, planting blocks of fast growing trees reduces the biodiversity of forested areas, creating areas that are not suitable to plants and animals normally found in forests. China plants more trees than the rest of the world combined, says John McKinnon, the head of the EU China Biodiversity Program. But the trouble is they tend to be monoculture plantations. They are not places where birds want to live. The lack of diversity also makes the trees more susceptible to disease, as in 2000, when 1 billion poplar trees were lost to disease, setting back 20 years of planting efforts. Lu Tuo, head of the Desertification Control Office in the State Forestry Administration, is of the opinion that there are huge gaps in the country's efforts to reclaim the land that has become desert. At present there are around 1.73 million square kilometers that have become desert in China, of which 530,000 square kilometers are treatable. 
but at the present rate of treating 1,717 square kilometers per year, it would take 300 years to reclaim the land that has become desert. Topic: <laughs> Relations to climate change. China's forest scientists argued that monoculture tree plantations are more effective at absorbing the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide than slow-growth forests, so while diversity may be lower, the trees purportedly help to offset China's carbon emissions. However, a study released in 2016 finds that wild woodlands are much more effective than monocultural forests in storing carbon dioxide. See list of countries by carbon dioxide emissions. Topic. Criticism Gao Yuchuan, the Forest Bureau head of Jingbian County, Shanxi, stated that, "...planting for ten years is not as good as enclosure for one year." Referring to the alternative non-invasive restoration technique that fences off encloses a degraded area for two years to allow the land to restore itself. Jiang Garoming, an ecologist from the Chinese Academy of Sciences and proponent of enclosure, says that, "...planting trees in arid and semi-arid land violates ecological principles." The worry is that the fragile land cannot support such massive, forced growth. Others worry that China is not doing enough on the social level. To succeed, many believe the government should encourage farmers financially to reduce livestock numbers or relocate away from arid areas. See also Buffer strip Energy efficient landscaping Great Green Wall Great Plains Shelterbelt, 1930s to 40s, U.S. Great Plan for the Transformation of Nature, 1940s to 50s, Soviet Union Macro Engineering Sand Fence Seawater Greenhouse Deforestation and Climate Change <laughs>